Getting fatter. But that's not really news. I mean, I think a lot of us are in that boat these days. So why am I making a video about it? Well, because there's a story here. And like most stories these days, it involves quarantine. So let's back up to a time that feels like it was a lifetime ago, the beginning of quarantine. This is an era I'm calling the nervous energy period. This is what we all said, or the non-assholes among us all said. Let's just do this. We'll board up the windows for a few months. We'll ride out this storm. Then by summertime, it'll be back to business as usual. There was even a sense of civic duty behind it. Like we were doing our part to help out society in a time of need. We were gonna flatten the curve. Remember that slogan? And everyone's nervous energy came out in different ways. For example, this is when everyone was baking bread. Guys everywhere, myself included, grew ridiculous facial hair because, hey, might as well have a little fun with this. And me, I started eating right, I did yoga every day, and I actually lost about 20 pounds. I was ready to rock and actually look presentable at summer pool parties. Except, that's not what happened. Because around July 4th, we entered the second era of quarantine that I'm calling phase two, the depression period. This is when we realized, oh crap, this thing isn't going away. It's here for the foreseeable future, isn't it? And so, the depression set in. I don't know about you, but I don't see people baking bread anymore. Guys everywhere shave their quarantine facial hair because what fun is this? And as for me, I stopped doing yoga and started eating like crap because what the hell's the point in being skinny? It's not like I'm seeing anyone. I might as well enjoy myself and eat what I want. And so the old quarantine 15 appeared, putting me firmly in dad bod territory. And as for this channel, you may have noticed that I'm not churning out videos the way I used to. And that is because it has been exceedingly difficult to keep making content during this phase. Like most days it feels impossible. But wait a minute. I don't make depressing content on this channel. What's going on here? And you're right, I don't do that. So let's try to turn this around by discussing a future era of quarantine that, while hypothetical, I still think is very realistic, and that is phase three, the runway. I think it's pretty clear that this isn't all just gonna end one day, that it's going to be a slow buildup back to normal, but this is the period when we're gonna have a light at the end of the tunnel. Like, even if we get a vaccine, this is still gonna last a few more months. It's gonna have to be produced. It'll go to the most vulnerable people first before eventually trickling down and going to the rest of us. But I predict that people's energy will rebound during this period because there'll be a light at the end of the tunnel I certainly think that mine will. And it's during this several months of runway that I'm personally planning on getting my shit together once again so that I can emerge from this fiasco in a positive way. So for better or worse, that's my plan. I mean, I know it's hypothetical and I don't know when it will happen, but I do think it's a realistic prediction. But we're not in that phase yet. So in the meantime, I'm not gonna be so hard on myself. I'm gonna accept that this is a temporary situation, do my best to enjoy the phase that we're in, and embrace my dad bod.